What's up guys, this is Josh. This is Chris. And we're the Button Masher Bros, and today we are celebrating Ludum Dare! I just want to give a big heartfelt thanks to everyone who sent us the games we're going to be playing on Season 4 of Ludum Dare to Believe. You guys are awesome! And now, what you've all been waiting for, Josh. Kick it. It's Ludum Dare to Believe! A game by Nick Zangus. Spinnacus. I am Spinnacus. I am Spinnacus. No, I am Spinnacus. And the music's by Kevin Ma McLeod. Mac uh, yeah, whatever. McLeod. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> you play as the brave and noble warrior Spinnacus, Spinnacus with his mighty grapple hook of destiny. You don't have to actually spin around. Oh, I know. I just like doing it anyways. The one thing I can't quite figure out, like, okay, so the whole gimmick of this game is this gladiatorial combat, right. and you have this weapon that attaches to your enemies, and you can use it to bash your other enemies. Yeah, and you can throw, you can throw people, and you can, uh... The hardest part seems to be lining up a shot on a throw. It's actually pretty I th I hard. It, it seems like it's probably very organic. Yeah. It's just like, there, there doesn't really need to be a reticle, because you can... Ah! Like, there doesn't need to be a way for it to tell you how to aim because it's just like, like, actually throwing something. Jesus Christ, this takes the gloves off fast! Yeah, it comes out on fire. Yeah, ah! definitely comes out, comes out a flame. Oh! Dang! Got, got some bone pin action there. Got a one, guess, got a, uh, uh, strike. So, uh, solid a spare, commentary, Chris. A spare I'm strike. going to kill this baby you gotta touch, for the good of the colony. You got a touchdown. Oh, okay, good. I don't know bowling terms. That's not bowling! That's yeah. football! No, that's baseball. What are you- What? Do you even sports? Actually, uh, you don't. Why am I even asking? No, I don't. Oh god, it's oh okay. god, oh I've god. Played, I've played hockey once. The big guys are clearly the best ones to get. Yeah, because they barrel through. You played hockey once, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what, what position? Uh... Uh, home run. Fuck, I died. Dude, follow him on Twitter. <laughs> Look at follow him on Twitter! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Yeah, does that just like open up a little follow? I mean, that's a really good idea for a for a freaking yeah for Ludum Dare. Absolutely, absolutely. Because maybe maybe he's like the best, and people want to find him. I feel like we we have played a a Nick Zangus game on the show before, right? We played a couple. We played a couple. Yeah, I remember the the screen head one from last Ludum Dare. Did he did he do the Unbalance Island? Unbalanced. The one where you had like the you, you could rotate the island. And was you had, that Nick Zangus? I think it was. I don't I, know, it could be. I could be wrong. Well, whatever. If it if it wasn't, then it should have been. <laughs> this is, it is now. It's yours now, Nick yeah, Zangus. Yeah, sure. Why not? This, this game is just a lot of senseless fun. I love it. And again, like the boxy art style of the characters reminds me of like Thirty Flights of Love. Oh yeah, that is what it totally reminds me. It of. It totally reminds me of that. Yeah. Which is like bonus points in my book. Fuck! And they just keep coming! Yeah, you, know, you know, I gotta be honest, like, this game really makes me... Like, this is the thing I love about Nick Zangus' game, is he makes it look so easy. Yeah. Cause, cause, I mean, um, evidently this was a jam game, because, yeah. because he had a, uh, another dude. Yeah, dude oh my music. god, look how but, many! <laughs> but... <laughs> I really need this to aim true! Uh, no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> But the thing I love about Nick Zangus's games is he makes it look easy, right? And and like he makes me want to pick up game development again because you know I really haven't done any game development since I was in college, and I you know like stuff like stuff like this makes me want to pick it up again. Oh my god! Oh Cause, my god! Because I've since picked up skills. Keep being inspirational, Chris. Because <laughs> I've since picked up skill sets that I feel like would help tremendously. You know, because like I'm no longer in college. You know, I'm a professional software developer, so you know I understand I understand code structure a lot more now that I've been in a professional field. I've dabbled in uh, some 3D development. Uh, I made my own uh, 3D Lego man, uh, and it is shit. <laughs> <laughs> Stop throwing them away. Throw them into it. I'm trying new things, cause clearly nothing has worked properly. <laughs> oh god! Maybe, maybe <laughs> this is coming out so fast. Maybe this is exactly working properly, though. This is awesome. God, why? Why would they do this to a barbarian? <laughs> it's like you're not hey, a barbarian. Hey, you're a gladiator. You're you're doing this for their entertainment. Spinnacus, literally go fight a thousand skeletons. So really, I wonder the, how long I can keep this up before the game just fucking. 
eats it. I'm sure it has a max on it. Oh uh, no! You die. Can I try? Uh, sure. Give it. Go for it. It's fucking hard. It looks like it. Like trying to trying to release on time. Oh god. Oh no! They're oh, running a god. train on me. They're making me ride the bone roller coaster. Making you ride. Get the, it? Cause they're skeletons. The bone also train. Also sex. The bone the train. Bone train. <laughs> Why are we doing this skit? What We're is gonna it? die. It's just it's just telling you what to do. All right. I didn't even see what my score was. It had to have been pretty decent. But yeah, there was just a point where it's like, okay, well, I'm just gonna keep kiting him in a circle and create a larger and larger mass. I kept hoping that I'd get a big dude and somehow just right. bowling pins through him. Yeah. But when you're in that kind of a flurry, constantly going on a curve like that, it gets really fucking hard to do it. But, uh, I don't know, it's just a satisfying little beat em up. Because, you know, one thing we see a lot of in Ludum Dare is wave clears. Oh, yeah. Wave well, clears. Cause it, wave, wave it's clears one of the are, most basic game types you can make. And they're easy. Yeah, like, they're, they're easy and you can do a lot with them, right? Um... It's refreshing to see something kind of kind of unique and interesting. And the thing that he's got going for him is he's got a lot of flavor here, right? The music, the the freaking audience. Whoa! He's got a lot going as far as theming to make it really interesting. You're really Whoa, I got a two for there. Did you see that? Yeah, you're doing really well. You're doing way better than I was. At least as far as keeping it clear. Dang! Ah, uh, Chris is Spinnacus, man. Uh, Chris I is, am Spinnacus. Chris is clearly Spinnacus. Yeah, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh. I'm gonna have to look and post to see what my yeah. high score was, but I'm pretty sure you're gonna do better. Who get? <laughs> I'm just making karate noises. Oh, do you Jeez. see what I did? I threw him and then immediately caught him. Oh yeah. I, did, I actually didn't see that. Yeah. That's what you did. You know what this kind of reminds me of? I did it again! What the fuck? Oh god, I'm a, I'm a you're pro! Freaking, you're Doc Ocking him! <laughs> <laughs> you're doing sick combos! Yes, yeah. <laughs> you're doing- You're, you're like the, uh, the administration dude from, uh, Kill a Kill. Oh yeah, dude, that's exactly what I am. <laughs> if anybody's ever seen, uh, or Kill a Kill, there's this, uh, uh yeah. this one big-ass dude. He's like the administrator, uh, disciplinarian. For the uh, student council, dude, I'm like, I'm, like I'm mastering the throwing catch. Yeah, like the first scene is him like grabbing a kid with his whip and throwing him around a an it. arena. I want, I want to do it again. I want to play again. Well, well, uh, you can keep playing. Yes. But, uh, okay, so what's your opinion of this? Um, dude, uh, do I need to do I need to like gush more because Probably I can? Probably not. Do we need to gush for time? It's a, no, not really. <laughs> that was just you know final words. Um. <laughs> I mean, I feel like uh, like everything that's that I've said. It's a really, solid title. I mean, it's so, it's solid, and my I feel like my reaction kind of speaks for itself. You know, it's it's a, it's it's a lot of fun. The theming here is great. It is in fact an unconventional right. weapon. I mean, what's there to complain about? Music's good. Check it out, people. Yeah. Dang! <laughs> what? <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> <laughs> Hide and Squeak by Tijman Tio. Tijman Tio. All right, so this is a little game where yeah. you play a mouse. Baby's asleep. Yeah, your baby's asleep. Yeah. And you want to go play with your toys. You want to go play with Legos. And that's all you got. So that's all you got. That's all they give you. Spoiler alert. There's uh, more. There's more. <laughs> what was that noise? So, so yeah, we've been playing this. Um, <gasps> a snake it's a man. little snake man. But he's got a arms. Snake man. And he's legs. got arms. <laughs> no, yeah, he's a snake man. He's a bipedal snake man. He's a snake man, of course. Snake man. If he's if he's snake man, he's gonna have arms and shit. True. If true. he was snake, if he was just otherwise, he's just a big snake. Ah, oh, well, yeah, that's true. Or he could just be a lizard. He might not even be a snake man. I love the little like, like the sprite work and like the uh I found bug. I found bug. You found I found a bug? bug. I found bug. Worst What'd game you? ever. One out of ten. What bug? Oh, they're going <laughs> under the phone. You're behind the phone. Jesus Christ. I'm just kidding. It's not the worst game ever. This yeah. is this is actually one of the one of the better games. Um sim simply because of the fact that it's got a it's got a little narrative. Yeah. Uh, ah! 
<laughs> his little snake eyes. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah like you don't really see it very often that a game actually has like a full on like crazy narrative. Oh what? Yeah. Not in oh, this room. is that the uh, the, the snake guy? The snake being yeah. like, hi. Where is he? I don't know. Not so in this room. It's pretty interesting because there's the mechanic of you can actually pick up the baby and take it away because the snake will pursue the baby whenever the baby is crying. Yeah. So as soon as he puts the baby down, it starts crying oh. and that attracts the snake. So okay. you gotta get booby traps oh, to prevent him from getting to the baby. There we go. There we go. Get out of there, Gotta kid go Russell. All home, home alone on his butt. <laughs> yeah. Set up the paint cans. Kevin. Oh shit! You're on a dead end, bro. Dude, don't worry about it. Oh, you better hope there's a toy in there. Here, I'm gonna like just put the baby like right here. <laughs> right at the edge of the door. Yeah. All right there, you go. Oh my God, damn it! Boom! All right. You did it. You Kevin! did it. Kevin! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, this is not good. Joe Pesci Ooh. plays the snake. He's, cause he's cause Joe Pesci was in Home Alone. Get it? Oh, Get yeah. it? Get it? Get oh, yeah. it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I Get guess. It. I guess he was. I'm funny. Yeah, you're funny. So I guess you, if I had to guess, you just kind of survive until the police arrive. Uh, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we, we I don't know what the wind condition is we, yet. I, I'm sure. I'm sure it's just survive until the police get here. Hey, yeah. Uh, marbles. marbles. Yeah, that's right, bitch. You make. You make that. You make, make that, that noise. Make that. You make that noise. Where is the snake? I don't know where he is. I'm trying to find him. He's trying to deke you. Yeah. Wow. I'm trying to find him. He's probably still in here. Maybe. Oh no. fuck! Oh god, he deked you! Baby! 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 No, everything's fine. Everything's fine. He's fine. Oh my god! No! Oh! Wow, he took you out. He, yeah, he man. just like was waiting on the inside of the door and he just munched your he face. He just chomped my face clean Damn. off. Anyways. Yeah, right. I mean, re re I mean, if I'm being 100% honest, like, yeah, I've got... It's got a cool story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and it's 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 all it's it's very well polished. It's got mm -hmm. great art. It's got good music. It's got nothing really to complain about the controls, but it's I don't I don't think it does anything like super special. It does everything well, but it doesn't do anything that's like memorable. Does that nothing, make sense? Nothing I guess blowing your mind, I guess. Yeah, that, that's that's really the thing. It's like nothing's really blowing my mind. Like the sheer like how well it's made. Is is absolutely impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, I don't know. That's just that's just my two cents on it. Like, it, it's very well done. It's absolutely well done. But it's like I'm not. I don't know. I don't see it going much further than just this compo. Well, I mean, like, I I, I think it's actually got a lot going for it. I, lo I love the idea of like the baby being this like aggro device, and you can kind of set up things to get rid of it. It it would be cool if you could actually set up more complex traps. Um, Mouse Trap by Milton Bradley. <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't know. I I I I I really like this game. I think the like like you said, it, there's a lot of things that are done well here. Um, but uh, I do agree that. Whoa, shit. Oh god. Okay, no, you're good. You're good. I'm good, dude. Dude, dude we should I'm, show him, I'm the massive juicer. We should show him what happens whenever he gets to the baby. No. We should show them what happens. No, I'm to trying to, to win, bro. I don't want to show them. <laughs> That's what I want to see it. No. It, <laughs> spoiler alert. That snake dude fucking eats the goddamn baby. It's metal as shit. Just fucking eats it. Although, on it's the other like, hand, I do kind of want to see what happens when you win. Uh, I like, absolutely want to see what happens. Do you just when I wait win. for the police to arrive and then they Curious. come in and just, like, real tacos shoot the snake? There oh! Is. Freeze! Freeze! My Surprise, motherfucker! Some fries, motherfucker. <laughs> Supplies, hey, motherfucker. We did it. We did it. Thank yeah. you for playing. Uh, dude, show them what happens with the baby gazoon. <sighs> do it. Do it. It's metal as shit. All right. Well, All I right. gotta get. Yeah, um, you gotta go trigger the event. I gotta go trigger everything. Gotta go trigger, 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 Kevin, <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> but yeah, like I, I think that there's a lot going for this game, especially. The, the one thing that stood out to me was the fact that this thing actually has like a narrative right, and you actually right. feel a sense of just a little sense of dread as it's kind of as the creatures lurking around and stuff like that. And there was a situation that happened off camera where Chris set the baby down in an area he thought was safe yeah. and then ran off and tried to find toys. Right. But then the crying stopped. 
Yeah, and it was we, like, got, we got up there, and the, it was like, the wait, fucking what? Snake, snake man's... The crying mon- stopped. The snake man's chomping on my babes. Yep, it's chomping on the babes. Did he already... Oh, okay, I was gonna say, did he already make his way? Yeah, I was <laughs> kind of worried. There, I don't know where he is. Oh, there he is. Baby crying! Alright, oh. so just let him pass. He's gonna go after me. Oh, well, get away from him, and then let him pass. Yeah. Pardon me. So I bad. want the people at home to see the horror. <laughs> it's the so horror good. of the baby. All right, so let's wait around a second. Listen to the baby crying. Like I, it's like it's I like wish a the, I wish, the, I wish there were there was like more more than just drop. Dr oh God, drop. Drop weapons as booby trap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish there was a little bit more variety. In well, the that's weapons. that's what I was saying. Is I kind of wish that there were more like complicated, cool traps. Like or as like, it or stands, like, or Legos, like, marbles, they all do the same thing. Well, yeah, yeah. Just exactly. knock him on his ass. Yeah. But again, that's a limitation of the competition. I, I mean, here he is. Oh God! Oh, you went too soon. What are you talking about? Too soon? He was right there. Yeah, you were like nanoseconds too soon. Yeah, probably. Ah, that's fine. Go it's check it fine. out for yourself. Find it. Let, let him eat the baby. It's fucking metal as shit, and it's terrifying. But anyways, guys, this was hide and squeak. Hide and, and squeak. Uh, I mean, I, I recommend it. I think it's worth. What'd you say? Hide and squeak. I just repeated the name. Oh, I thought you were correcting me. No. Ah, hide and squeak. Ooh, check it out for yourself. Uh, hide and squeak. I think it's a pretty solid experience. Um. Uh, again, it, like Chris is probably right. It, I don't really see anything coming from this in the long run. It, it really has like the biggest, absolute biggest limitations. I think are lack of like variety in the weapons. But as far it's, as like Ludum Dare is concerned, this is a great little oh, package. Yeah. It's a it's a great package, yeah. absolutely. Especially the thing that really surprised us. Um, this was a compo. This is a compo. This yeah. guy did the art, the music, everything himself, which is just blows my mind. You're a man of many talents, or women. I, I don't know what your name yeah. is. No, he's uh, a man of in. he's a man of one talent, making well, games. Boom. Well, the thing I was commenting on, but it's what, a big talent. Whether or not he was male or female, because I couldn't tell by the name. Uh, trigger, trigger. I, I guess. <laughs>
What? That was bullshit. Chris wins. Chris wins. Chris no, wins. No, that was salt, bullshit. Salt, salt, salt. I had so, so much momentum. I got boned. No, you didn't. I totally got boned. That's the game that's, screwed that's me. What some, that's what a buster would say. Maximum buster two. Oh. Boom! I love the animation. What was, whenever that? What, what was that? I'm about to burp. I think I might vom. <laughs> Don't vomit. Why are you vomiting? I, w I don't want to, you fucker. Then don't vomit. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> Boom. Tied up, bitch. I, I love the animations of the squid. It's like, super good. Like, the oh artwork, God. the music. I mean, there's a lot going here, going on here that's just, like, really good. I love couch multiplayer games in the first place. Yeah. But, I mean, you got this nice little particle trail effect. You got... The an the death animation is incredible. The eyes, I mean, the eyes exploding out of the skulls yes. is the best. Wait, so who's winning? You are. Yeah. Okay. We're both just waiting. Who's gonna be the first out of the gate? Uh, me. Oh. Ah. Uh, this takes a lot of focus. It really does. No, it's no. really hard. I'm having a hard uh, time talking. Exactly. I'm just like, I want to win. Yeah. Damn it. Chris wins. You're good at this game, actually. I, I am pretty good at this. Hey, I'm, I'm not great. Whoa! Like we were trying this beforehand, Whoa. and I, I was getting reamed. It was one v one. Look at the size of the team, dude. What? Dark, Darkwind Media and friends: Colin, Evan, Brian, Holy Mike, shit. Yolanda, Matthew, Eric, Phil, Aaron. You guys got a pretty solid game under the belt. You guys got a pretty solid squid salt game. Squid salt game, boom. There's, it's absolutely polished. There's yeah. nothing out of place here. I didn't detect any problems. The controls are freaking yeah. silky smooth. Everything just looks gorgeous. Yeah. The music is great. So yeah, guys, try out Super Salt Helmet. Get some friends or play against the AI. AI is actually reasonably challenging. And we'll see you in the next game. Alright, that's it for this episode. If you like what you see here, be sure to check out these games for yourself at ludumdare.com. And hey, if you like what we're doing, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and maybe check out some of our other shows. We got three little annotations there for you. One will take you to Indie Slam Jam, which is a magical world of independent developers and awesome games. We got the Button Masher Bros, which is kind of a catch-all for whatever the fuck we feel like playing. And then we've got the Ludum Dare to Believe, which by now you should know what it is. Maybe you haven't seen it. Go check it out. See you next time.